Hey, it's Dave. I can't even count. Um, today is not going to be um, a usual uh, fun day. I do apologize about that. Uh, so I'm going to do a little bit of a recap uh, for the last uh, four days I was here. Um, I don't want to vlog uh, where I am because I don't want to get in trouble. So I hope you guys can fully understand that. So I'm going to take you... Uh, back a little bit and to kind of give you a bit of a, a recap as to what happened throughout uh, The first four days I was in Sydney so far Now the first day I was actually packing and ready to leave um, It was a bit of a ha it was a bit Difficult honestly because I haven't like traveled in like half a year and so yeah, I had it all planned and it was then I actually forgot to bring a few things like a backpack to carry. So that's pretty dumb on my part. And when I was at the hotel, uh, which is actually near a Comic Con, uh, I was kind of a bit disappointed on, you know, how it looked because like, yeah, you need cards to like use the door and the, the cards are actually, they're, they're quite okay for like opening doors for security reasons. But, uh, you would use the keys to turn the lights on. That's, I don't know why they did that. Um, it was on the first day that I finished and I actually thought that I was not going to be happy throughout the week. And that's day one. Okay, now day two. This is actually the day that I actually uh, went to Comic-Con with Liam. Uh, I actually woke up at like 7 and we didn't even realize it was sunny outside and so we actually quickly got dressed, got a bag ready and all that kind of stuff and then we just walked out to Comic Con about 20 minutes. Um, yeah, it, we, it was in a really big line. I didn't realize there was a huge population of people there. Yeah, so we basically booked a ticket and we were actually walking around, just seeing what they have there. And so I actually played uh, Just Dance, uh, cause I, I don't usually like dancing in video games, but the song I did was uh, Mr. Blue Sky, which it was actually a good song. And I got five stars, which is kind of cool considering I've never actually played Just Dance in such a long time. And so after I finished Just Dance, I was really exhausted. And so I actually went to the other building um, and I actually noticed that there was um, uh, actors for uh, Power Rangers, which I was huge, huge fans of. And I, I was actually really excited that I actually got to meet them. Uh, the ones I met are uh, Richard and uh, Angie, the actors for Mystic Force back in 2006. I, I, well, to be really honest, I was really nervous uh, speaking to them because I've never actually met a celebrity or a legend before because I, I'm, a, I'm a true uh, Power Rangers fan for like 15 or 14 years and seeing them in person is just amazing. Uh, what's kind of funny is that uh, uh, both of them actually fought um, because I... Because uh, they actually think that my name was actually on the show, which I actually thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> uh, that, that was that was actually great. And I took a selfie with them and it was actually just amazing. And, and even um, on Instagram, there's like a lot of likes on it. And I do really appreciate it. Um, so I want to thank you guys for that. And I actually got to meet uh, Tessa Rao, who played Izzy in Dino Fury, who was actually the first um, uh, first ranger who was a part of the LGBT community, uh, which is a huge milestone. And the fact that she was um, the first female Green Ranger, which is also new, uh, considering we never had a gender bending uh, ranger since uh, Taylor from Wild Force. You know, because the Sentai footage they were using, uh, she, she was actually really nice. Um, and yeah, she's actually from New Zealand. Um, yeah, she, she was actually really nice. And I even took um, like selfie with her and also a um, an autograph, like, you know, when actors sign a signature to the fans. 
it, it was actually really, it was actually, I was, I was, I wanted to cry, but I was really, really happy that, um, I, I never had a signature from like, anyone before. And the first one was, was on Tessa Rao. Like, I was really happy. And, um, it, it's kind of sad that a couple of my friends didn't got that kind of appreciation, but, um, at least they kind of got it from, uh, SMG4, the, the guy, like, I didn't know much about SMG4, but, um, at, at least my friends actually were huge fans of that guy and the production team because they make really great content. Um, and yeah, I was kind of exhausted throughout the day. And so we basically, um, got out of Comic Con, got a bunch of stuff. I even got like a lot of posters, the A3 posters. Uh, I could explain what they are, but, uh, the ones I got are mainly, um, A3 kind of size ones. And the ones I get are like, um, how do I put it, like monster girl kinds or like furry kinds? Because I'm actually a huge fan of furries. It, it's just a person's uh, opinion about what they do like. And it just doesn't really bother me in the slightest. And so after Comic Con, we just went around the area, got us on some lunch. And yeah, it was really crazy that day. Okay, so next one is the third day in Sydney, um, or it's two and a half if you want to call it. Uh, it was Sunday when I actually cosplayed. Uh, the one I cosplayed is Raven from Teen Titans. I actually bought eye, um, uh, colored eye contact lenses and uh, it took me about an hour to get at least one on, but I didn't actually wear one to a Comic-Con sadly, which is upsetting, but it's mainly for my health reasons. And so when I cosplayed as Raven, I couldn't get the belt on. Um, maybe when I'm less chubby, I could actually put the belt on properly. Um, do you know what's kind of embarrassing? Um, yeah, so I had to walk across the traffic light in like these um, boots that, that are about this high. And yeah, they're actually boots and luckily they're stable, but I had to change to my normal shoes. So that I could walk a bit easier. What's even more embarrassing is that when I actually reached the line at Comic Con, my tights ripped. I was so furious that it actually ripped. And I was just, I, I couldn't like contain myself because I was so pissed off that my tights ripped on the cosplay. So I had to like maybe buy a new set of tights or just uh, wait for a year until I'm a bit fit now. Um, yeah, so it was the second day at Comic-Con and yeah, it, it was actually crazy. Like we just went around the areas normal. I took a selfie with SMG4. He's actually a really nice guy. And also back at the uh, uh, the power convention, I actually met um, Algen, who was the Blue Ranger in Jungle Fury. He was actually a really nice guy, and um, yeah, I actually cosplayed there, um, but he didn't actually mind it. Um, I, I even gave him um, a question about how, um, how, you know, how is he you know, like gonna hide his accent on the show? Because remember, the Disney era of Power Rangers were mainly hiring actors from like the UK, uh, New Zealand, Australia, and even uh, Canada. And it was supposed to be an American show, but it was filmed in New Zealand, so that's pretty ironic. Uh, but he actually said that you just practice, which is actually partly true because you do practice. And so yeah, I just paid for the, um, like the selfie. Uh, he, we did two different selfies. Uh, one is when he had the helmet next to him, and the other is when he did the, um, the, the pose that he did. Um, if I was acted on Power Rangers, it would be difficult for me to do these, uh, kind of hand gestures. It, it could be fun, but it can be a little challenging, which is normal in everyday acting. And so it was, uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, and it was actually the time when, uh, there was a Power Rangers panel, a Q&A panel, which I've never actually been to a Q&A panel before, so I was really honored. And I actually saw all four of the actors there that I got to meet and took selfies with, and, uh, 
Uh, they they were basically um answering these questions about their own season. Uh, one of them, Richard, uh, he basically said where the part where you turn into a tree, he said that they used real bark as makeup. I was really I was really shocked because that would have been a very very dangerous uh, kind of material, just having you know bark molded in a mask and just kind of put it on you. I mean, they could have just used um like rubber or kind of props, but they just went real bark. I was really shocked. Yeah, after listening in, uh, they were surprised about the amount of episodes for our 30 years, and <laughs> I, I just love the Pikachu faces that they were having. It was priceless. Um, I even asked uh, Richard and Angie a question about if they were actually gotten any information or anything about a potential crossover episode with uh, the cast from SPD because that was a year prior. Uh, they actually said that they didn't really get much uh, information or knowledge about it. Um, it is a bit disappointing, but at the same time, it's kind of okay. Uh, considering it would have been really difficult to work around it, considering SPD would take place in the future, and you have to fly all these actors back from Canada to get here. So, um, it, but it would actually be nice to see a mixture of future technology with magic. So, yeah, I, I actually think that was an appropriate question, considering I've never been to a panel before, but it, it was actually, it was, it was actually good. And so after the convention, uh, Liam actually left. So I was basically left alone at uh, the park for a bit. And I just went wet and wild. I just went through uh, the water fountain, did a couple of uh, parkour stunts. And yeah, I just went to a waterfall and actually got my clothes soaked. And even, um, it was it was wild that <laughs> I had my clothes soaked. And it, luckily it was hot outside so that my clothes could dry. Um, I actually met a, I actually met like a few, um, furry friends that they're actually really nice and they're really respectful. Again, this is a, an opinionated thing. Um, yeah, like there was even a path where the water is kind of going on an arch. I just went through it and actually went wild there. And yeah, the, the kind of good things turned to bad quickly as usual. I actually laid on the grass because it was... It was, uh, it was kind of crazy, um, and I think I had some kind of, uh, how do I describe it? Like, you know this air pocket of the skin on your foot, or maybe a blister? I think I actually have one on the top of my foot. Yeah, it, it kind of hurt just a little, not too much. Um, so I had to get new shoes at some point at the end of the year because they're really falling apart. But yeah, yeah, day three, it was, it was incredible. And finally, day four. Uh, now, day four is a really weird one. Um, I was basically at my dad's place for some period of time, like until the end of that week period. And uh, apparently, um, I actually just went out of his place. Um, yeah, because he had work at some point. So I basically just left his place all by myself. No guidance, no nothing. And I basically just went on uh, like three different transports on the same day. It was crazy. Um, I actually went on a bus and then I went on a train. Some people call it a tram, but I just call it a train because it is like a vehicle that you use a train to travel. Um, and so I just went to the zoo and it was, it was crazy. It was really, really crazy, the zoo. Like, I almost got lost a few times. So yeah, Sydney, it was really fun. It was crazy, I got lost, and I actually got one souvenir, uh, from the shop, because I wasn't sure what I was going to bring. And so the one I actually got, as you can see, is uh, a necklace. Uh, it's a necklace of beads, uh, based on... Uh, the people from Kenya, Africa. I don't really know why. Like maybe it's because I was a fan of Survivor and Africa's the season I liked. Um, mainly because the culture and all that kind of stuff. 
Um, yeah, it was actually really crazy seeing all the animals up close, uh, mainly the lions. Um, yeah, they were huge if you look them up close. Uh, luckily they have glasses protection because they are really, really dangerous cats. And so, yeah, there was, um, a reinforced trail, I had some lunch there, and I took a ferry from the zoo near the, um, the main Sydney area, area uh, which is actually near the, um, the opera house, and yeah, it was crazy seeing the Sydney Opera House up close, and I even bolted up the stairs. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. Yeah, I even went on a ferry twice on the same day, and at first I was actually worried because I might get lost, but uh, luckily then I sort of understand and got used to it. Um, it was actually wild, the, the ferry. I mean, there's like seats both indoor and outdoor it's really risky outdoor ones because you could fall off easily but luckily the boat isn't rocking too much so yeah it was it was fun um they have a like a ton of stores there uh the kind of sad thing is that i was trying to look for gushers which is an american candy which i was looking for for quite a while um the mike and i candies were pretty good um, I liked all flavors, um, but I would like to try Gushers. Maybe online if I could find it at least. And so that was day four, or five. Yeah, today's day five. And I, I do apologize if this video is pretty boring with the whole recap, uh, but there's really not much I could really do for today. So that's pretty much just it. Um, I, I enjoy making these vlogs and actually show you guys like this kind of adventure of a lifetime in person uh, because there were areas I definitely wanted to like show you guys like the ones in like the Gold Coast, New Zealand or like maybe in Samoa but the one place I wanted to go to is LA which is on my bucket list uh, which is actually the kind of a dream I always wanted since I finished high school but I'm not going to continue vlogging forever, uh, mainly because of a few reasons. Uh, number one, I'm only going to do it while I'm in adventures like this. And uh, the second one is that um, I didn't want to get in trouble by just filming in, you know, wrong areas. And I think the third one will be um, is that when you see people uh, vlogging for like a really long time, they just get so, so bored that the fun just sucks the life out of them. So I'm, I'm only going to film if I'm going on uh, expedition areas or fun um, areas like this. So just keep this, keep this in mind because I'm not going to vlog every single day. I'm only going to do it while I'm in adventures like this.